incredible books like Walkable City, uh, and I really admire the take he he has on urban design and how we think about humans and people when we we think about cities. Yeah, I imagine that's a that's a big part of you know being a mayor and you know interacting with people every day and that yeah. kind of thing. Absolutely, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I can understand that. And um, have you ever been denied an autograph? I have not. I'm, I'm not one to really chase after autographs. I, I'll say when I was a kid, I'd see somebody sign an autograph and I'd just like grab anything. I mean, like most kids do. Like, yes. oh, I'm going to go get an autograph. <laughs> and you sign some random stuff. Um, so I haven't really been denied one that I really wanted. Um, I will share that in that experience of just kind of being like, oh, I'm going to get something autographed. Uh, some friends and I went to a They Might Be Giants concert mm -hmm. yeah. uh, when we were growing up. And we were waiting in line um, to get autographs, and it was a really long line, and there was a little <laughs> convenience store next to us, so I ran in and got some Cheez-Its so we could eat them because it was going to be like another hour. And by the time we got up, my buddies had their things they wanted signed, and I didn't have anything, so I had oh. them sign the <laughs> box of Cheez-Its. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, though. That, that can you know, follow, uh, follow along the lines um, um, of somebody autographing something weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they it. definitely gave me a strange look when I handed them an <laughs> empty box of Cheez-Its. Better autograph. than nothing, right? Exactly. Yeah, I love it, though. Yeah, absolutely. And um, that's going to be kind of along the lines of the next question is, have you ever signed anything weird or out of the ordinary? Nothing nothing as crazy as a box of cheeses or anything. Um, <laughs> I do a lot of speaking to students around mm -hmm. North Carolina, around Burlington and Alamance County, and uh, mm -hmm. usually get a couple students coming up afterwards and saying, hey, can you sign this? And so it's usually... Scraps of notebook paper or binders uh, yeah. or random, random yeah. pieces like that. Yeah, that, that's so, good though. It saves yeah. from the awkward experience of having to sign, you know, somebody pull up their shirt or something. I, I did have a student uh, actually yesterday. I was speaking to the, some uh, middle schoolers and uh, she came up to me and she's signing other people's like random pieces of paper and she yeah. goes, Can you sign my forehead? <laughs> and I was like, that, Your parents are probably going to not appreciate that. So yeah. I'm going to gonna say no yeah 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 we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to yeah. say no to that one yeah i understand that yeah that's awesome though and um it yeah i don't know that i would ask anybody to sign my forehead and you know no matter how popular or big they are i think i'll save that for another day yeah. well, all right i did bring one thing i wanted to share with y'all about uh autographs that i i did I, I got really excited when i got this one so i grew up in minneapolis minnesota uh, and when I was in high school, the mayor was uh, a man named R.T. Ryback, who's still really active in the Minneapolis area. And uh, I had the opportunity when I was in high school, I was a cross-country skier, and he came up with the idea to do an urban cross-country ski race. It would be nice. all through Minneapolis, and they'd actually bring snow back in and dump it on the roads so the skiers could finish in uptown Minneapolis, right That's in the middle awesome. of the city. Yeah. Um, and to promote that in the fall, before there was any snow on the ground, he said, I want to get a bunch of high school kids, <laughs> and we're going to roller ski like big roller blades and poles and roller ski down the street in uptown yep. uh, mm -hmm. as a publicity kind of thing to say, this is where the finish line is going to be. And I got to be one of those skiers. Uh, so I got to roller ski with Mayor Ryback down Once the street. Once in a lifetime. And I, he didn't really know who I was at the time, <laughs> but <clears throat> fast forward about 10 years and I got elected as mayor of the city of Burlington. And so I figured I was back in town visiting my family. And I'm going to reach out to him and just kind of share that story, reach out, see if he's got any advice. And when I called his office, they said, well, he just wrote a book. I don't know if you've read that. And so I picked up Pothole Confidential and uh, then called him back and said, I just finished reading the book. Can I have a meeting with them? And they were gracious enough to grant me about a 15, 20 minute meeting. Absolutely, but yeah. I, I showed up and whenever I read a book, I always flag all the cool stuff I, I love about it. So I walked into his office with the book set it down and we start talking and he immediately noticed all my flags. And so he grabs the book and he starts flipping through to each tag and, yes. and everyone became a conversation about his role as a mayor and kind of what I was hoping to do as a mayor uh, and about an hour later we finally wrapped up our conversation and uh, he signed the book to me and I, I really appreciate his mentorship along my role as mayor so that that's an autograph that I treasure and will that, keep with me. That's awesome those are the stories I love as a collector and that's something that I tried to do um, later on in my collecting is make sure that each piece I had had a type of story, and I was actually talking to some people on Facebook, I guess it was a couple of days ago, and I'd say probably 90 to 95% of my autographs have a story, and those are my favorite ones, and that's so awesome that you have one that has a story behind it. And right. As a collector, those are the stories I love to hear, and <laughs> those are the stories I could listen to all day. You know, I could probably listen to you go through each one of those points in that book and, you know, yeah. yours and his conversation on it. 
and that's how awesome and that's what we're here for is for people to share their autographs as well and you know share their favorite ones and share their story so i definitely appreciate you sharing that story no problem i guess that jogged my memory there's there's one that i have been chasing um that i forgot about which I, i'm a weird al fan uh, <laughs> love, love weird al um <laughs> And when I was in high school, went to one of his concerts, and we, we got really good seats. We were like second or third row back. And at one point in the show, he had some red Solo cups full of water for mm -hmm. when he got thirsty. And at one point, he just decided to kick one of them. <laughs> and he kicks it, and it sprays water across the audience, and the Solo cup like hits me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and so I kept the Solo cup, and I still have it. And one of these days, I'm going to get him to autograph it. And then I'll have the Solo cup that he kicked in my face. That's by Weird so Al. awesome. So. Yeah, that's that's just the stuff I love to hear. And that's the stuff that, you know, people in the collective world love to hear is that there's unique stories and everything. And if you were to get that cup signed, that would be <laughs> awesome. That'd be like a one of one kind yeah. of a thing. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. I love it. All right, Ian. Well, well thank, thank you for you. your time today. I appreciate it. Yeah.